to right, slicing toward the pesky pole down the line, and it's going to be out of here. And it's off the pole, and it is a grand slam. How about that? You know who's smiling broadly? Clay Buckholtz is smiling broadly. 500, they are 40 and 30 to start the day. Brantley drives one deep on the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It is a home run. Michael Brantley with his 11th dinger of the year. And his 45th run batted in. The Indians will play from in front today. They grab a 1-0 lead here in the first. It's Michael Brantley's seventh hit in the series. Well, you talk about turning on the baseball. And Fisk will lead it off, has a single, and has walked twice. And the wind blowing out. There it goes, a long drive. If it stays fair, home run. We will have a seventh game in this 1975 World Series. A lot of body English for Carl Fisk. Uh, watch him. <laughs> How many steps does he take? One. He waits to see it. Get over, get over. <laughs> He knew it. There it is. 1-0 delivery to Fisk. He swings. Long drive. Left field. If it stays there, it's gone. Home run. The Red Sox win. And the series is tied. Three games apiece. Earl Fisk get a 1-0 pitch. They're jamming out on the field. His teammates are waiting for him. The ball hit the foul pole. And the Red Sox have sent the World Series into Game 7. They run down to third. This ball hit high. Down the right field line, it is gone! A home run! A three-run shot for Gallo! And for the second night in a row, the Rangers have walked it off! Unbelievable! In a two-run homer tonight. Ozuna, that's launched. It's deep. Is it fair? It is! Wow! Wow! We talked about Ozuna in his career against Philadelphia at over 350 average, and this is his fifth career home run against the Phillies. And you bet it was launched for Marcelo Ozuna, homer yesterday in Milwaukee. That is the top of the foul pole. I don't think I've ever seen that. World, I, I guess I should have clarified and said, oh boy, that one hammered fair. down the line, and if it's fair, it's gone, and boy, is it fair, and boy, is it gone. Third solo home run for the Reds off Miley in a 3 0 lead. Well, that's got to feel good for Ryan Ludwig because he was caught looking on a 3 2 pitch his second inning with a couple of runners on base. That's right. Hey. Yeah, nice play. Pagan hooks one down the right field line into the corner. It is out of here. His first of the year, and it's 2 0. He's looking into the dugout, smiling like, yep, I got one. <laughs> You're on the skin. Here's the 2 1. That's hit in the air. Tavares off the back. Two pinch hit home runs all season. And Tavares, the biggest swing of his young big league life, happens right here as tiny at three. Play ball is MLB's initiative to inspire all forms of baseball and softball participation. Here's a drive deep down the right field line and gone. Ian Happ wraps it around the foul pole for a home run to give the Cubs a one to nothing lead. Now that's my first home from the home run to watch from the seats. That was pretty impressive. Stayed right inside the foul pole. Cabrera holding the bag deep in the air to left field near the foul pole. Oh, a home no. run right off. 
off the top of the foul pole by Melvin Mora. And the Orioles lead it by one. All my years, I have never seen that happen. Well, your PNC play of the game is going to be a skyscraping home run. And it lands right on top of the pole. Here's your slider. You can see where it is, right in the hitting zone. So there it is, right on the top of the pole. 14 multi-error games. There's a drive down the left field line. It is hooking, and it's going to stay fair and gone. It's a line drive home run for Austin Jackson, his second hit of the game, and the Tigers lead 4 0. You talked about Jackson when he came up his first time today. He really likes uh, when he faces John Danks. He singled in the first, and he jumped all over uh, this fastball inside. Actually, a breaking ball that he was able to turn on, and he just hit a seed out of here. Jackson hits number six. Just fair down that left field.